Uh, so the, the start of our app is a login screen, um, pretty basic, where the user would put in their username and password. It would then talk to our database and Ormond server, uh, where if the username and password were both correct and matched what was in the database, it would then take the user to um, further into the app into the next form. Uh, which would let them join a game or start a game. Um, and then if the user was not registered into the database, then it, the login form would get, also give them the option to register a new user or new player, where it would then ask for all their information, such as state, city, um, address, and then it would let them create a username and password, which then you would then register and then all that information would go into the database and then they would go be taken back to the login form where they can use their use, new username and password, which would uh, then allow them to continue further into the app. So once you either uh, register or log in, once you have that login, it'll prompt you to this screen where uh, you can either join a game or start a game. And so the form that I worked on was the start a game screen. And so we give the user three drop down menus to ask them what sport they want to play, how many people they currently have that will play, and then how many people total that they need. Then I'll also prompt them to ask them what time the game is, uh, the address, city, and state. Uh, so with the drop downs, we just gave them a pre populated list of the different games that they could play. And then we just went one through 20 for the amount of people that they need. Um, we don't think any of these games should go more than um, 20 people. And so we'll show you um, for the start game screen. Uh, so when you have the drop down here, uh, it'll ask you, so we'll choose basketball. Uh, we currently have five people and we need 10 to play. And let's say they wanna play at two o'clock. Um, we'll just put in an address here. And then once you click this post event button, uh, we can take you uh, to the database here. Um, and so we can see in this game info table, um, now we have the basketball game. So this game ID three, uh, where we have uh, the basketball game, we need five or have five people need 10 and I'll give them the address and the time to play. And so then the database will be populated with the game. Um, and so that is how um, someone, if they, on this option screen, if they wanted to actually start a game as opposed to joining, uh, this is the screen that it would take them to, they would fill out the information and thus um, the game would be posted to the database. All right, so next we have how to join a game. Um, let me get it to here. I worked on basically trying to be able to query for a game um, as uh, far as what city you wanted to search in. It looks right here. Um, and basically it takes two criteria. It takes the city um, that you're looking in and also the game you're looking for. And then it would display um, what games were available um, right here uh, for that day. And then would then take you to the information tab, uh, would give you the organizer's name, number of players they need, number or uh, one number of players they have so far number of players they need and desired start time as well as an address the address is being worked on so that when you click on the address it will take you to um, google maps to display where it's going to be played on a map and also give you directions on how far of a walk or drive it'll be we were initially intending on using apple maps but comes to find out that Apple Maps will not work unless you're writing in Swift or Objective-C. So we had to turn to um, Google Maps to do that. Uh, with the Google Maps API, we should be able to either pull up the Android or Apple app when the person clicks on the address, or if they don't have either, that will take them to their browser and just pull it up on a website. So to display this quick, we'll go ahead and play it. Um, we'll do golf and we'll search in Omaha. As you can see, uh, the sport and the time displays here. Click on that and it takes us to our information page. 
Um, shows the organizer, number of players they have so far, number of players needed, um, desired start time, as well as the address of where they want to play. Um, and as you can see, once we click that, it would then take us to the Google, the Google Maps um, once it's fully functioning and is very close to being fully functioning. So that is our app so far. Um, let us know what. Let us know what um, comments you have on it. We'd be happy to adjust anything. Thank you.